Hello for you. I don't know if you can see me, you, if you can hear me. This is a mess for me. Okay, anyway, I want to start um, the last part of this theme. This is the, the theme devoted to the artists, uh, the Spanish artists um, in the contemporary Spain. So, and many of you did beautiful works and uh, beautiful uh, contributions to this theme. And uh, this is the part that we're going to study in our part test. And uh, this is the situation of the art, a part of the situation of the art and culture in Spain in the 20th uh, and 21st centuries. As you know, you have there are some paintings, you know all of them, because there were magnificent works by some of you. So Picasso, you know, this is, uh, this is a part of the Guernica painting, very interesting. We're going to, to talk about, uh, about it uh, later. This is uh, Dalí, okay, you remember, surrealist uh, artist, painter, set designer. Okay, and this is, um, this is uh, Miró, another surrealist painting, painter, sorry, and um, also um, a painter, an artist that pride uh, himself in um, doing things like a child. Okay, you know all of them, all about uh, the three of them, they are three of the most interesting, outstanding uh, artists uh, in Spain in the late, uh, in the late 20th century. Uh, yes, in the late 20th century. And this is literature. And you also know uh, many things about uh, these important um, writers. So this person here is um, Antonio Machado. Antonio Machado belonged to the generation of uh, 90, Eight. You did some work about uh, this generation. Maybe you remember that I sent you a video about this generation. And uh, these are mm, some people that belong to this generation. Jacinto Benavente. Jacinto Benavente was uh, the first, uh, the second Spanish, uh, Spanish person that was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Jacinto Benavente. Very, very interesting because he he did he wrote many many plays many plays Miguel de Unamuno you know about uh, it Antonio Machado Juan Ramón Jiménez you remember that Juan Ramón Jiménez wrote uh, uh, interesting poems among them a, po a poem in prose called uh, Platero y yo okay very good and uh, then we have the generation of of uh, 1927 these are just some of uh, of the many poets, poets and writers, and writers, but uh, mainly poets that belong to this generation. And this is the photo, the image of uh, Federico García Lorca, that was the soul of this generation. And you remember that uh, he was all killed, murdered in the in the first days of the Spanish Civil War. Terrible. Okay. Some people think that uh, Federico García Lorca has been the main Spanish poet ever, ever. And then we have another generation, you know something about some of them. This is the photo of Camilo José Cela. Uh, Camilo José Cela, maybe you remember our guy's work, The Last Day, okay? a, Galician, a Galician writer. He wasn't a poet, he was uh, not a play writer. He was just a novelist, very good, but not only not only him, we have um, uh, Miguel de Libes, Juan Guay de Solo, a lot of them you have there, okay? Blas de Otero is, in is interesting because we're going to work about on a poem by Blas de Otero, Fernando Fernán Gómez, very good. And in a sculpture, I selected you, uh, for you these three um, people, Alberto Sánchez, that was born in Toledo, and uh, he normally made uh, his works with wood. Okay, this is a kind of animal. I don't know exactly if uh, we're talking about uh, about a bird, about a cow. I don't know. Chijida, if you are patient, you are going to you are going to watch later a magnificent uh, work by by Candela Jover. 
venga el gallo this is still this is still if you go uh, all along castellana streets under a bridge under a bridge there is a under a bridge very near miguel darío square uh, you can you can see you can appreciate a lot of a lot of uh, sculptures one of them belong to this this very uh, sculpture that guy in architecture this is another branch of art we have uh, interesting and outstanding and amazing um, artists okay an architect is not only a technician it can be he or she can be also an artist and the oith and the oitha okay this this particular building is in uh, America Avenue, maybe you remember, Ricardo Bofil, wait, because we have another another presentation about uh, this particular architect, Rafael Moneo, maybe you can recognize this building, this is Atocha Station, and Santiago Calatrava, okay, when you go to Valencia, maybe in your voyage, in your in your trip at the end of the, of the course, okay, hopelessly, hopelessly Mm, you can appreciate this uh, this building and in cinema cinema is another branch of art there are more there are photography there are gastronomy there are many many branches of art okay we don't have enough space to talk about all of them in cinema you have Luis Buñuel Luis Buñuel Luis García Berlanga Carlos Saura Pilar Miró Pedro Almodóvar we're going to to, to see something about Pedro Almodóvar, uh, José Luis Garci, Fernando Trueba, Alejandro Avenaba. Very good. So these are, and this is your vocabulary part. And you remember, you have to fill it. Had to fill it. Very good. Now let's move to the exercise part. And uh, you had to read these three poems and guess the author. You had to choose between Antonio Machado, Federico García Lorca, and Blas de Otero. And uh, the first poem goes this way. El lagarto está llorando, la lagarta está llorando. El lagarto y la lagarta con delantalitos blancos. How childish is that? Ha perdido sin querer su anillo de desposados. Ay, su anillito de plomo. Ay, su anillito plomado. This is a very bright poetry. Okay, and the author. And the author is, can you tell it? Can you guess? You have to choose between Antonio Machado, Federico García Lorca, Blas de Otero. Yes, Federico García Lorca, easy. Then we have another poem. This is different, a different, a very different poem. This is a very hard poem uh, that was written by a person that uh, that suffered a lot, suffer for for himself and for Spain, because he suffered the fact that Spain was living in a dictatorship, no liberty, no freedom. And he said, "Si he perdido la vida, el tiempo, todo lo que tiré como un anillo al agua, si he perdido la voz en la maleza, me queda la palabra." He's playing with. Uh, word as the the way of uh, communicating and word as the tool of a poet si he sufrido la sed el hambre is talking about civil war la sed el hambre todo lo que era mío y resultó ser nada si he segado las sombras en silencio me queda la palabra si abrí los labios para ver el rostro puro y terrible de mi, de mi patria si abrí los labios hasta desgarrármelos me queda la palabra. So you have to choose between Antonio Machado and Blas de Otero. And the answer is... The answer is... Can you write it in your chat? Yes. Blas de Otero. And finally, this is a poem by Antonio Machado. And this kind of photography of a school. Of a school. Of a rural school in a little town. And uh, this, this is a very famous poem. Una tarde parda y fría de invierno. Los colegiales estudian. 
monotonía de lluvia tras los cristales. Es la clase. En un cartel se representa a Caín fugitivo y muerto Abel junto a una mancha carmín. Con timbre sonoro y hueco truena el maestro. Un anciano mal vestido, enjuto y seco que lleva un libro en la mano. Y todo un coro infantil va cantando la lección. Mil veces ciento, cien mil, mil veces mil, un millón. Una tarde parda y fría de invierno, los colegiales estudian. Monotonía de la lluvia en los cristales. So, this is, uh, this is a poem by Antonio Machado. Okay, you can imagine. And then, you have this painting that you know very well. So, can you tell me, 91, who is the author? And what is the title? The author, this black and white painting, a very large painting. Yes, yes, Pablo Picasso. And the title is, is Guernica. Okay, so, and it uh, commemorates the bombing of Guernica, okay? The first uh, months of the Spanish Civil War, terrible. Okay. Next question. What can it be seen? Where? In Guernica, maybe? No. Where? Near your home, yes. In, um, in Queen Sophia Museum. Reina Sophia Museum. And what does it mean? What does it represent? Present the bombing, the horror of war. Okay, 1904. When was it painted? The answer can be before, during, or after the Spanish Civil War. Before, during, or after the Spanish Civil War. The answer is not after, but during during the Spanish Civil War. And finally, when did it arrive in Spain? The painting arrived in Spain just in democracy, because Picasso didn't want this paint in, in a Spain that was living under a dictatorship. Okay, very good. Okay, and then, pay attention. You have here, you have here uh, a group, and one of them have, uh, has an intruder. So, number one, we have Cela, Picasso, Dalí, Miró. Cela, Picasso, Dalí, Miró. We're talking that about Miró the painter. So, Cela, a writer, Picasso, a painter. Dali, another painter, Miro, another painter. So the old one out is Camilo José Cela. And the reason is he's the only writer. Number two, we have Almodóvar, Chillida, Berlanga, Buñuel. So, movie maker, Almodóvar, Chillida, and a sculptor, Berlanga, a movie maker, filmmaker, Buñuel, a filmmaker. So the old one out is Chillida, because he's the only sculptor there in this group. Number three, Jacinto Benavente, Alberto Sánchez, Unamuno, Juan Goitisolo. Jacinto Benavente was a writer, Alberto Sánchez was a sculptor, Unamuno another writer, Juan Goitisolo, uh, another Cervantes, Cervantes Prize, another writer. So the old one out is Alberto Sánchez. Number four, Santiago Cal Calatrava, Alejandro Amenábar, Ricardo Bofil, Rafael Moneo. Santiago Cal Calatrava, an architect. Amenábar, filmmaker. Bofil, an architect. Moneo, another architect. So the old one out is Alejandro Amenábar. Okay, because he's the only filmmaker. Number five. Carlos Saura, Pilar Miró, José Luis Garci, Gabriel Celaya. 
member, Carlos Saura, is the name of fa another Spanish filmmaker, Pilar Miró. She was another outstanding filmmaker, José Luis Garci, who was awarded with an Oscar, United States, another filmmaker, and Gabriel Zelaya, this is the, on, one, the odd one out, because this is the only poet in the group. Number six, we have Francisco Nieva, Buero Vallejo, Sainz de Oiza, Sánchez Ferlosio. Francisco Nieva was one, he died uh, just uh, five years ago, more or less, okay? Was a playwright, so he wrote a lot of plays. A writer, Buero Vallejo, another playwright, Sainz de Oiza, you remember, an architect, and Sánchez Ferlosio, another very important, very influential writer. So the old one out is Sainz de Oiza. And finally we have uh, Alberti, Rafael Alberti, Trueba, Fernán Gómez, Miguel de Libes. Alberti was a poet, Trueba is uh, an influential filmmaker, Fern Fernán Gómez was an actor uh, and a filmmaker as well, Miguel de Libes was a writer. So the old one out is writer, writer. Trueba um, is just a filmmaker. Fernando Fernández Gómez was a writer as well and a filmmaker. So we can say that uh, the old one out could be, out could be Trueba. Okay. But Fernando Fernández Gómez was a writer uh, and also uh, a very important uh, filmmaker. Very good, very good. And now this is time for you to 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 watch some um, work of uh, some of you that were very important. We are going to start with uh, Chigida. Chigida is this 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 uh, presentation was made by your mate Candela Jover. A beautiful presentation. So you remember this is this was Eduardo Chigida. He was born in, uh, in the Basque County. Okay. No. And a curiosity interesting. In his life, he was a janitor. I thought he he was as well uh, a football player. Now he studied in um, in Madrid. Okay, Madrid. You can see here. This is what is called the Círculo de Bellas Artes, very near Gran Vía, very near Sol Square in Madrid. An interesting place, many exhibitions there. You can watch, you can appreciate. And uh, this is uh, this is a photo of uh, not the University of Madrid, but the University Complutense de Madrid. Okay. I want to. I want to, to talk one day about uh, this word Complutense. This is um, maybe his, uh, his most famous uh, sculpture. Okay. This is called the Comp of the Wind. Okay. This is the Comp of the Wind, Reino del Viento. Because imagine the wind comes here, okay, and this is like a comp. Okay. Okay. You know. And this sculpture is completed with this one, the background, okay, and some things that are on the floor there. You can see this. You can see. You can admire this this uh, sculpture in Donosti, San Sebastián. Okay, good. This is the Elogio del Horizonte. Horizon, Elogio of Horizon. This is Horizon. This is kind of embrace. This is made in concrete, hormigón, concrete. All his sculpture are massive sculpture. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. This is another sculpture. 
this curtain saw this is a kind of um, this is a kind of uh, steel special steel okay. this is the Netherlands this is Amsterdam this is the Rijk Museum and you go to Amsterdam you have to go to the Rijk Museum and drawings uh, take care with your spelling candela next time drawings and okay take a look at this take a look at this uh, this um, drawings at this drawing because this is a scheme this is a sketch for a sculpture and uh, this sculpture can you see can you see this is this is the drawing and this is the sculpture okay very good now you go to the Basque Country. There is a very near, very near uh, Donosti, very near San Sebastián. There is there is a place called Chigida Leku. Chigida Leku that was closed uh, some years ago is now open, but now people can go to to visit it. And uh, there is there is uh, full of Chigida's sculptures. These are some of them. Chigida Leku. Remember that. Go to it. More sculptures by Chigida. Okay. Very good. And this is the presentation. We have more. I have more things for you. Now. Oh, sorry. Now. Another interesting presentation. And this is Ricardo Bofil. And Ricardo Bofil is an architect. And this beautiful presentation was made by your mate Aaron. Okay, so Aaron, thank you. This is Ricardo Bofil. And you're going to be to, to, to be surprised by some of uh, his works. He he's uh, from a family from uh, Catalonia. He was born in Barcelona. Important projects. Aaron, take care with your spelling. This is the factory. You like it? Look here. Looks like a cloister, a monastery. No, this is a factory. So people, workers, work here. Beautiful. You can see this this building in Barcelona. This is the El Teatro Nacional de Catalunya. Glass on steel glass here. You can see the space there. And still, very good. What do you think about that? I don't know where is where this building is, but this is magnificent. Do you see it? Wow! And this is one of the typical typical images, an iconic image in Barcelona. Okay, so this. This is the this is my parents see this is Barcelona I think okay I'm pretty sure as well in Barcelona this is Prat uh, Prat Airport Terminal One okay you like it very good so we have more more things uh, now pay attention this. Is another. Oh, sorry. This is another. Another magnificent work about uh, a film director in Spain called mm, Jose Luis Cuerda. Jose Luis Cuerda. Okay. Jose Luis Cuerda died just uh, uh, some weeks ago. Jose Luis Cuerda. And this particular presentation has been made by Martin. So thank you, Martin. Now, so he was a Spanish. He was because he died just uh, some weeks ago. Film director, screenwriter, producer. A producer is a person that uh, gives money to make uh, to make art. Okay. And uh, these are two of the most important uh, uh, films by Cuerda. Amanece que no es poco. En el bosque animado. Well, 
You got to watch el bosque animado. You got to watch el bosque animado. And you can you can watch it. And I encourage you to, to do it today. Today. Because you are going to see maybe the most tender this this character, the most tender bandit. The most tender el bandido más tierno. The most tender bandit that you have never seen. Okay. This part. I'm pretty sure you're going to to like this this uh, this movie. Okay, El Bosque Animado is uh, is a film based on a novel from uh, by another Spanish uh, writer, Venceslao Fernández Flores. Flores. Okay, this is José Luis Cuerda, was in Albacete, Castilla La Mancha. Okay. Uh, very good. Now. And Martin wants uh, us to 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 put Cuerda in the context. Uh, he remembers that uh, in that very date, 1975, uh, Francisco Franco, the dictator, died. Okay, and there, uh, three years later, there was an, a new constitution, and uh, in the dictatorship, the censorship was everywhere. That's that's true. Okay, and. When Franco died, there was an explosion of culture because we could live in freedom, more freedom, and many films were made in this in this uh, in this uh, period. Okay, this is one of them. This is not by Cuerda, but mm, by Berlanga, La Vaquilla, another film that you can see. Okay, it's a kind of uh, comedy, but a serious comedy. You can see good very good we need more time to and this is an image maybe this is the most uh, famous the uh, famous uh, film by cuerda and this is an image okay it's a humoristic image and this film like he said uh, el absurdo the absurdity okay the unique uh, the unique uh, case yo llevo al absurdo cosas que tienen base muy real absurdo es, por ejemplo, cuando dice un hombre enraizado a su tierra es un tío plantado en un bancal. Okay. Irony. Irony. Very good. More things. Literality. So maybe you know you are religious or not. You can you can remember, you can know that the holy the holy ghost, the holy the holy spirit, the holy ghost is represented by uh, by a dog here okay and this is maybe this is an actor this is Fernando Fernan Gomez and this 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 dog represents the Holy Ghost okay this is a uh, uh, the, the, the film uh, Amanece que no es poco creates uh, an association that are called Amanecistas and uh, there uh, there every year in this village in Albacete I didn't know that but uh, people mm, meet uh, together to, to, to remember to go to, to remember some some scenes about this movie and this is part of uh, his filmography filmography and La Vida del Capitán Estrada mistake Estrada okay. and you have Amanece que no es poco Así no cielo como la tierra and tiempo después are part of the same trilogy. Okay, Lengua de las Mariposas. I like this 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 film very much because of the character, the teacher, the teacher, la Lengua de las Mariposas. Okay. I identify myself with this, this teacher there. Good. And tiempo después is the last uh, movie and is a part of the trilogy trilogy. Parece que no es poco, tiempo después, así en el cielo como en la tierra. And this is all. So, thank you, Martín. Thank you for your contribution. We have more things. We have uh, time. And uh, this is this is uh, this is Ramón. No, this is Pedro Almodóvar, but was made. Uh, by Ramon. So Ramon, thank you for your contribution. Oh. Maybe Pedro Ramon, Almodovar is uh, nowadays is the most uh, famous um, 
film maker in, in Spain. Okay, and maybe this is the Spanish artist that is more recognized in the world, and he is very influential, very influential. And any opinion by Pedro Almodovar is uh, immediately um, thought. People think about uh, what he think uh, immediately because he has uh, he he's got a lot of prestige there. He was born in Castilla-La Mancha. Yes, he is a film director. Here you have a lot of films. Okay, a lot of films. Ramon, he did very well here. You have uh, Pepe Lucibon, who was, who was the, his first film, Laberinto de Pasiones. Many of them, many of them. Todo sobre mi madre, who was awarded with an Oscar. Los abrazos rotos, Baile con ella, Volver. Lots of, uh, of films, Dolor y Gloria. This is the last film. Okay. And this very year was a candidate to, 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 to win an Oscar. Very good. Very good. His biography, he was born in Calzada de Calatrava. This is a little town in, in uh, Ciudad Real. And he went to, to Cáceres there, to live there. And when he was in high school, he began to be interested in, in cinema, in films. And Pepe Lucibon, de Las Chicas del Montón, was his first film. Okay. Very good, very good. He wasn't only a film director, that's, that's true. Okay. So he was a member of uh, a theater group, one of them. Is I recognize it. Maybe one of them is Pedro Almodóvar. Good. And he was a member of uh, um, a group that was boom glam rock. Good, good. He was also um, a writer. Okay, Patil Fusa. Okay, a writer by Pedro Almodóvar was one of the most significant novels in homosexual literature. Good, good, very good. And he was part of, um, of a music group with Fabio McNamara. I can remember that. Very good. Very funny songs like Voy a ser mamá, Gran Ganga. And here you have, you have the, you have the direction. You want to see that, hear that. Honors for the night of the French. French Ramon spelling French order. Okay, and many other, many others, uh, others awards. Or things. Oscar awards. All about my mother. Frank Wickard. Many of them. Okay, and in Spain as well. So he was awarded some goyas. Mujeres al borde de un ataque de nervios. You can see this, this movie. Okay. It's very funny. Todo sobre mi madre. Todo sobre mi madre is a, a drama. Volver on the drama. Lo de Gloria is his last film. Good. And this is the end. Thank you. Thank you, Ramon, for this presentation. And uh, now attention because this is the last one. This presentation, Ismael González Díaz, about Ismael González Díaz, has been made by Victor. And I want to thank Victor a lot for this contribution, because as you are going to discover, I, I didn't know about this person, okay? But uh, I am very glad and uh, thankful to, to Victor for, for his, his contribution. He was Victor's grandparent. So, and uh, he was born in, Car in Carballino, in Orense. He was a Galician and produced many films. So remember, a producer is the person that risks his money to create art. If you want to be an artist, you, you, you need a producer. So people that believe in, in you, believe in you, and then gives money 
for you to to success okay so this is this is what a producer is and he was also a, a, a filmmaker a writer and uh, apparently he was the stepfather the padrino of a few artists like Marisol there is a there is a photo there Marisol Lola Flores Joselito all these are very famous people okay you can ask your parents or grandparents parents for them okay and he was also my dad but thank you Victor for your contribution he immigrated to Argentina when a child and uh, then he went to I think this is this is Mexico okay and he was uh, an engaged activist against uh, Franco's dictatorship good very good and some curiosities about uh, about um, this this character and uh, he was uh, friends with uh, Luis Buñuel do you remember do you remember that Luis Buñuel was the first uh, important Spanish filmmaker and uh, this person was was uh, friends with and and this is the Angel Exterminador this is a very um, difficult uh, movie to, to, to understand this is a surrealist movie and there is a last scene with a lot of sheep sheep be careful with the spelling Victor a lot of sheep that are inside the inside the, inside the building okay there are people that are inside the building and they can't go out they don't know why but they can't go out go out okay and finally this is a scene with a lot of sheep that are there and um, there is there is here we have an anecdote about it okay and uh, he defended culture and he was friends with uh, this this author these are i think galician authors so laxeiro laxeiro was this cartoonist okay these are galician peasants in this photo you can see this is marisol one of the m most uh, outstanding artists during francoism okay and she was against uh, franco dictatorship but she was famous there okay so and he he was part of the club siglo 21 siglo, club siglo 21 was, uh, uh, was a, 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 no, a company that that issued the books and uh, in short okay this person that you see here okay this is the Galician flag okay that you see here and here so creative full of curiosity and very socially engaged very good so this is Ismael Gonzalez Diaz and uh, I want to 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 thank uh, Victor for his contribution okay. and very good very good very good now this is I think this is the this is the end and in just a few minutes we meet in uh, in the glass of Mars I hope you like it good good See you.